guys hope you're all doing well so we need to discuss these new palettes from Nika K New York. Okay, Nika K New York is a brand um, that you see, well, I find in my local beauty supply stores. I will link the website down below, um, but I get Nika K from, again, my local beauty supply stores. Uh, they are the company that makes, this is all beat up now, my Contour Duo, which is like my Holy Grail Contour Powder. Um, they also have blush duos like this that I've shown in my channel. Um, and they also make these beautiful highlighters. I've shown these again on my channel. Um, and really, really affordable beauty store. I think everything I got here was $2.99. Uh, this was $2.99. These were $3.99. Yep, $3.99. Um, but yeah, but they're at my local beauty supply store. And this brand has been around in the local beauty supply realm for ages. Well, I was in Philly uh, this past, I don't know when you're watching this video, but I was in Philly a weekend or two ago, and I went into the local beauty supply store, and I saw these palettes for $2.99. I was like, let me give it a go. I'm going to show them to you. Uh, I was like, I'm going to give it a go, and I was not disappointed. So, Nika K has jumped on the nine palette, nine pan palette trend uh reminiscent of oh, let me open one up reminiscent of huda beauty color pop that kind of that little color pop is round pans but nine pan palettes these palettes were two dollars and ninety nine cents i looked up on the nika k website they're three dollars and three dollars and ninety nine cents on the website but i got mine for 2.99 um at my local beauty supply store so four dollar palette three dollar palette there was less than twenty dollars. I paid eighteen dollars for. All. There's six of these, and we're gonna go through them. Um, I'm just so excited. I love makeup. You guys know I love all realms of makeup. I started straight drugstore, beauty supply store makeup on this channel. Branched into Sephora, higher end, more expensive things. But my heart is with a good find, a good cheap find, and this is one of those finds. So let's get into it. So you get these six. Um, the six different ones. This is the Autumn Spice. Show you. I'm going to give you a mini review on every single one. And I'll put some swatches up. This is Mocha Mix. I love that the name is on the front. It's on the back too, but... On the front. Sugar Plum. Look at Sugar Plum. Purple. Oh, beautiful. Poison Apple, which is my favorite and what I'm wearing today. Look at her. Look at Poison Apple. Mm -mm. Okay. And then we have two that are not um, just monochromatic. This is Under the Sea. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. And then this one is Birthday Cake. Again, two dollars and ninety nine cents. So again, to the logistics. Again, like I said, three ninety nine on the website, two ninety nine from my local beauty supply store. Um, each palette has nine eyeshadows in it. They're mixtures of mattes and metallics. I wouldn't even go and say any of them have shimmer. They're straight up metallic shades. Yeah, mattes and metallic shades. No shimmery. No. Um, and you get 0 0.4 ounces or 11.7 grams um, in each palette. Let's do some quick math here. So, <laughs> let's see. I don't really, I don't, I don't really do this, but I'm curious because they're so small. 11.7 grams, 11.7 divided by 9. 1.3 grams of shadow in each pan. And then a ColourPop one has... less. A color pop one has 1.1 grams of shadow in each pan. So you get a little bit more. You get a little bit more. Look at look at us. Okay. <laughs> um, so yes, anything else I want to say, like I said, they're a mixture of matte and metallic. The packaging is super cute. Classic pa pa packaging. Um, yes, it's a little bit cheaper. You might, if you use it, it might break if you just throw it in your makeup bag. But it is small enough where you can wrap it up to protect it. But it's also, again, $2.99, so where if you break this, it's okay. 
Um, but you get, you don't get a mirror, you get the, you get the, um, oh wow, I just noticed something. I'm sorry, this video is all over the place. You get the, uh, you don't get shade names, you don't get shade names, but on the back, if you look, this is like the, um, security thing at the beauty store. But if you look here, really, let's get in. You see the E stands for eyeshadow and the B stands for blush. You could use some of these as blush, which is kind of weird because they're the same I wouldn't be able to get my I wouldn't be able to get my my um brush in it but yeah they're labeled some as blush I'm using them all as eyeshadow but anyway all right so we're gonna go through them one by one uh I have used them all at least once and I am ready and like I said as I talk I'm gonna put up some swatches I'll put up swatches on my arm of each one let's start with the neutral ones we're gonna go into mocha mix this is my mom's favorite um, you get the name on the front you get a little um, image so this is mocha like a cup of coffee um, and let's open it up and this is the neutral one I'm gonna say this none of them are pure like calm down neutral I guess you can choose what you want to which shadows you want to use but all of them have these beautiful vivid metallics in them where all of these have the potential to be full glam eye looks because of that metallic finish on some of these shadows this one gives you one two three four uh, metallic shades and five mattes and the mattes are all in the neutral category you get a white in here a cream eggshell it's not super white um with all of these the mattes i think at least yeah i think all of them have one matte that need a little love. It's just not there in the swatches at all. But all the rest of them are pretty decent. Um, the mattes show up. They blend well. But again, at least one is usually the lighter shades. Like the yellow sucks. I'll tell you that now. The light white does suck. But anyway, the metallic shades are gorgeous. They're this soft pressed. So like, look, you can see my fingerprint in it. I just pressed it. You can see my fingerprint in the metallic. Look at that doesn't even need to be wet doesn't even I don't think I've ever I've used any of them wet um no but you get your neutrals in here you get your neutral browns your crease colors and then you get these beautiful metallics it's just in a brown theme I really enjoy this palette my mom really likes it I will say the metallic shades are leaning more on that pink berry not super like there's no like gold or metallic brown they're more like coppers and berries like that so if you want like a brown metallic situation you might like autumn spice which I'll talk about next but there you go definitely that is mocha mix the next one is Autumn Spice, which is an, which is my second favorite because it's a warm, it's a warm palette, beautiful. Um, look at that, look at that. You get that light, this is not a white, this is a light cream. This is one of the mattes that does really well. Um, you get that light cream in the middle and then you get a uh, mustard, you get a orange and you get a brick and then you get brown, I told you about the white cream and you get four metallics. You get a gold, bronze, copper two golds really this is the this is more of the neutral the metallics are more neutral in this one um not as berry but look at these look at the finishes you can see my fingerprints in all, in all of them these do well with a brush they do well with your finger i prefer a brush when i'm doing i look look at the shine on it absolutely just in Hence, I saw these and I couldn't swatch them in the beauty store. They were all sealed up and everything. But I was like, three bucks, it's worth a go. I hope they're good. Everything I've gotten from Nika K so far, I've loved it. So let's do it. Um, absolutely gorgeous. So just get a closer look into there. Here is the deep brown in this one. Classic chocolate brown shade. Beautiful. So that is Autumn Spice. Okay, the next one is we'll go with sugar plum uh i'm trying to wipe my i'm trying to do so much y'all know me the next one is called sugar plum and this is your purple slash pink category you get three mattes in here you get the most metallics in this one if i'm not mistaken or one of the highest you get six metallic shades in here and they're all arrays of purples and pinks with this uh pinky dual chromey why well, i'm saying dual chromey dual chrome it's shifting from white to pink I don't know how well that's going to pick up on camera um but that is this one this shade here is it in this one no it's in it's in another one um but this shade here 
this purple is while it's beautiful now because I swirled it with my finger it doesn't do well on the brush it doesn't do well um, translating from the brush and the pinks are okay this one probably is like one of my least favorites because they show up well this is one of the examples where finger swatches look good but brush swatches are non-existent with the mattes the metallics still look absolutely wonderful so this is something the sugar plum one if you want some metallics in this color family that's one you might need I feel like there's just so much like hair and fuzz on my face I'm feeling it I don't know if Griff's hair is in the air I mean his hair is always in the air but like it's, I don't know what's going on all right and then the next monochromatic uh is poison apple and this one this is what what I was like okay if I don't get all of them I'm just gonna get that one and I was like no I'm getting all of them <sighs> this is a red palette it's looking a little plummy on camera but it's red so you got four metallics four mat um five metallics four mattes in here this red right here I was like okay you know red eyeshadow is very hard to make it's not um an eyeshadow that's prevalent in my collection I have a few reds but red is just hard to make a good red and this red is everything this is a fuchsia pink I'm gonna swatch this one first because this is beautiful just so you can see the difference in how red this red is I'm also gonna do the plum the burt plum burgundy eggplant so these two okay that's absolutely gorgeous absolutely beautiful this red you right oh my god I so smooth check me out you ready that's red you guys that is red okay that's true red doesn't lean to orange doesn't lean to it's perfect per as I drop things perfect absolutely perfect uh, you get this uh, light shade it might be coming off white on camera it's actually a light light pink to go with the color theme I'm wearing this palette today. Uh, I did have to pull in a deeper brown, deeper burgundy in the outer corners um, because this shade, I use this on the lid and then I use this um, in the outer corner and they're so close together, even the ones metallic. It didn't give me enough contrast. So they showed up, but it didn't give me enough contrast. This is what I have on my lid. Jeez. This is a very unique uh, metallic because it's so red. I don't really know how much I have in my collection of that. I just think this one is beautiful. Gorgeous. All of them are gorgeous. In comparison, I do want to compare this one, show you the ColourPop Main Squeeze, which is their red monochromatic palette. And you definitely get a little bit more depth in this one. Um, I feel like this one, the mattes are closer together. This one, you get a little bit more depth. So if I had to pick one, honestly, I'd go with this one. Um, because these shades here, mini review on this one, one, two, three, four, five. Honestly, I would think indistinguishable on the eye. So, you know. Uh, you know. Oh my God, the hair everywhere. So, that is Poison Apple. Okay. I'm really excited. Uh, and then the next one we have is Birthday Cake. This is their bright um, rainbow. Let's see, red, orange, yellow, ish rainbow-esque palette. This one has probably the most mattes in it. One, two, three, four, five, six mattes and only three metallic shades. And this is the one where this metallic shade, this purple here in the top, needs a little love. It's still pretty. I mean, that looks like a lot, but it's it, brush to, on a brush, it doesn't look that good. Um, that one needs a little bit of love. Also, it's my least favorite color in here, so that's okay. Um, this mustard also sucks, this yellow. I tried to scrape, might be a layer of oil on it, which I think it is. Um, but even first out the pan, it it sucks. It's it's not all that. It 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 ain't doing nothing for you. Um, so this one, eh, love the I love the the thought, but it's, this one's probably my least. This is in terms of quality, it's probably the worst one. Okay. Finally, we have Under the Sea, which I think this one is very cute. It's not monochromatic, but it has a really good set of complementary colors. Uh, this one reminds me of the Mar palette. I have it right here from ColourPop, like that beachy theme. It's called Under the Sea. Ocean and sand and stuff like that. It reminds me of this one. These colors are fine. The quality is good. This yellow is a little bit better, but it still sucks. So, 
it's, it's a little bit better, but it still sucks. Um, oh my god, I'm sorry, y'all. My nose is these, it's like fine hair. Maybe a brush shed when I was putting on my makeup. That could be it. Anyway, so, yeah, that's that one. This is a, sorry, I had a brain fart there. Pretty shade here. It's a peachy shade with a gold shift in it. Let's swatch that. Reminds me of Bellini from the Too Faced uh, Peach Palette. Absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, it's been entirely too long talking on these nine month, nine month, nine pan palettes. Um, pick them up. Find your local beauty supply store. I have the link down below for you to order them online. But to be honest, with my local beauty supply store brands, I don't really order them online. I I assume they don't have online. I don't know. I just don't. I just go to my local beauty supply store. But yes, those we had to talk about those. Um, as I'm still picking hair off my face. I don't I don't understand. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about any other products mentioned in this video, feel free to leave it down below. I love you all, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye!